What's up everybody? It's Chris. Welcome to Starships of Greatness. Today I have something very special to show you all. Today we are going to be talking about the Star Trek 2022 Playmates movie series Star Trek The Wrath of Khan action figures. <laughs> Hopefully I said that right. But um, uh, we're going to get started and I'm very excited to show you these uh awesome Star Trek action figures. Uh, it's been the 40th anniversary since uh, Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan. I'm rocking out my Star Trek II Wrath of Khan shirt and let's get started. All right the first one I'm going to show you is Admiral James T. Kirk. Um, this is the action figure box. Um, I love how it looks. It shows the, the Enterprise, it says classic Star Trek series. Uh, over here it shows the 40th uh, anniversary of Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan. Um, I'm going to give you a closer look. Um, I would open these up, but I don't want to because I have a feeling these are going to be some really good collector's items. Um, maybe I can maybe buy another one and then I can open it up. Um, I also have the, some old, uh, Star Trek action figures that are on my shelf right now. Um, I'll probably have to show you guys those in another video. Um, but I'm just excited that I have this new 2022 Playmates Star Trek, the Wrath of Khan series action figures. Um... Here's what the back looks like. It shows you um, each of the characters you can get. There's Spock, there's Admiral Kirk, uh, Khan. And it looks like when they come out with these action figures, they do a set of three that you can get and collect. Um, uh, let's see here. It says Admiral James T. Kirk. Uh, Galactic Accessories uh, comes with a Type 2 Phaser, Starfleet Wrist Communicator, Captain's Log, and the bonus is a Star Trek Movie Action Base. So let me show you one more time what it comes with. Um, on the back, it tells you more about the accessories like for example uh, Starfleet Risk Communicator allows Admiral Kirk to stay in consistent contact with the Enterprise while conducting away missions uh, Captain's Log a portable electronic device for recording personal log entries, entries during Starfleet missions Type 2 Phaser with various power settings, this versatile handheld weapon will disrupt and destroy the molecule energy at any target. Uh, Starfleet action base, stand him up or plug him into the base. Khan is always ready for action. Hmm. Um, and then right here, oh, shows you like kind of gives you like a bio about him. It says subject James Tiberius Kirk, species human, rank admiral, uh, assignment commanding officer of the USS Enterprise NCC 1701. And yeah, so there you go. That's uh, Admiral Kirk. I just got I love this back cover. It, it, it's just so cool. Like it says, collect the Star Trek heroes and villains as featured in the Star Trek movies. Yes! <laughs> um, this excites me because um, back then when I was little, I didn't really have Star Trek characters, but, you know, uh, action figures. But my dad, you know, he had some stuff on his uh, collection. But I always kind of wanted, you know, some Star Trek toys when I was little. But I had, like, other toys like um, like Ninja Turtles... Um, I'm not sure what else I had, but I had some pretty cool, like, army men. All right, moving on to Captain Spock. Here's Captain Spock. 
Um, Captain Spock comes with uh, Galactic Accessories, Engineering Tool, Starfleet Tricorder, Radiation Gloves, Bonus Star Trek Movie Action Base. Um, I think this uh, Spock looks really good. Like They did a really good job on how he looks. Um, I'm digging the uniform too. It looks really good. Like they did a really good job. I like how the the badge is on there really good. Um, it's cool. It has like the gloves that he used in uh, Star Trek Two. Um, but yeah, that's the back side of it. I'm gonna show you again front side um, let me just look at one more thing so engineering tool allows Spock to handle practically any breakdown that might occur on the Enterprise Starfleet tricorder the standard data processing device for any for all way missions the tricorder quickly analyzes field data and stores it for a later study Radiation Gloves provides radiation protection to the hands when in warp core chamber. So yeah, there you go. There's Mr. Spock. And last, we have Khan. Khan! Khan! Of course, we are one big happy fleet. Ah, Kirk. My old friend, do you know the Klingon proverb that tells us revenge is a dish that is best served cold? It is very cold in space. All right, so here is Khan. Dang, dude. I think this is my favorite one, too, because he looks really awesome. I love how they did it. He... Just look, it looks exactly like him in the movies, dude. Um, this is this is so cool. So here's the backside. Um, let's see, galactic accessory Starfleet phaser. A uh, bowl of Cody eels or SETI SETI eels, I think. Uh, Genesis control box and bonus Star Trek movie action base. Let me look at the, yeah, let me look at the bowl of SETI eels. Okay, it says, SETI eels grow inside humanoid brains and inhibit, inhibit willpower, um, which le lets Khan control his victims. <laughs> and um, I'm not going to spoil anything, but if you ever watch Star Trek II, you're going to find out what happens and you'll see why. <laughs> Um, Genesis control box stolen by Khan. This is used to target and detonate the Genesis device. So I recommend you guys watching the movie if you haven't seen it. Um, but yeah, this, this is what it looks like in the back. Um, you know, if I had to give a review on these action figures, uh, I would actually give this a 10 out of 10. I, I appreciate how much detail they did with this you know action figures um the action figures look great the box looks you know the art cover looks great i love how they show the the classic enterprise um it would be cool though if they did show the the refit enterprise from star trek 2 but hey you know it's uh the original series enterprise can't complain about that you know at least there's an Enterprise on there. Um, but yeah, there is Khan. And I gotta say, these action figures are awesome. Here's Mr. Spock. Let's make sure I give you guys a good look at him before I stop this video. Come on, come on. Um, 
I'm okay with the uh, how they delivered it to me in the mail, um, except this one. Um, it got bent a little bit, but nothing, nothing to complain about. It's just you know, so if if you want, you know, you could just go find it at a store and then find a, one that's better for you. But I'm okay with how it looks, you know, and. I may buy like a second one of these so maybe I can like open it up and actually you know look at it in in my you know closer um, but right now I do not want to open these up I want to keep these as collector's items okay um, I did actually find my other Star Trek action figures so I wanted to just quickly show you guys them so here is uh, James T. Kirk from the original series wearing his uh, captain's uniform. I really like this one. Uh, I think he looks, you know, like Kirk, Captain Kirk. Looks really good. Uh, he's a little dusty right now. I'm going to have to clean him up a little bit. Um, then I have Captain Kirk. Uh, this is where he wears his I guess you'd call it like his alternate uniform, kind of like his casual uniform. He likes to wear this. Has his little <laughs> badge on the on the bottom of his uniform. You know, he looks more cooler. The cool Jim James T. Kirk. Um. Then I have this one. Uh, this one was from. The Star Trek Generations um, action figure set, and this is uh, Captain, or I think it's Admiral James T. Kirk, um, but he's still wearing the the red uniform that I like from the movie Star Trek Two. Um, overall, looks really cool. I think these action figures are a little bit taller. Maybe they're the same size. I don't know. I'm gonna have to really compare I'm not gonna have to I'm gonna have to get another one of these so I can open them up and then kind of compare them but to me they kind of look like they're the same size but this one might be a little bit bigger I don't know I'm not sure though so you tell me you let me know what you think um and then last uh we have uh Mr. Spock um it seems like all the Mr. Spocks I'm not sure maybe there's other action figures of him, but it seems like he's always doing the, the Vulcan live long and prosper. Um, but yeah, I like this one. It has his, him wearing a blue uniform. Uh, I think there's other Mr. Spock uh, action figures. I do want to see if I can start collecting them and you know getting them all. Um, but yeah. I do have more action figures. Uh, I believe I have... Um, I think I have almost all of them. Dr. McCoy, Rahura, uh, Scotty, Chekhov, and uh, Sulu. I'm going to have to show you guys those in the other video. Um, I do have Khan, but I do not know where he is right now. <laughs> so I'm going to have to find him. Shame on me. <laughs> um, I should have him out on my shelf right now, but I don't know where. He's somewhere in my, um, I like to call it the man cave room. And uh, I know I know he's somewhere. I'm going to have to find him again. Yeah, maybe I'll do a video of like searching for Khan. Khan! Khan! All right, my YouTube friends, I'm going to end this video right now. Um, I do appreciate you guys watching, um, hit that like button, subscribe, leave me a beautiful, lovely comment. Tell me what you think. Live long and prosper, my friends. Take it easy.